Hi, this is George Lungu from uh, ExcelUnusual.com. Today I will be presenting a flight simulator based on real physics. Uh, the model is in two dimension and is controlled by a mouse. It's a virtual uh, virtual joystick actually controlled by a mouse. In order to start it, first I recommend to hit the, the red button, which is a reset the relaunch button. Um, and then click on this little red button in the middle of the joystick chart. You click on it, and then you have full control of the airplane. Pushing the stick forward, the plane lowers its nose. Pulling the stick towards you, I mean backwards, the plane goes up. Here you can see it's doing a full loop, backwards loop. Let's do half more, and then. Um, once we get on the top, push the stick forward and remain inverted. Now we fly inverted. As as is doing all these things, uh, you can go and uh, zoom out or zoom in. Uh, you can see this. You can change the center of gravity by pushing the joystick sideways. When the center of gravity is in the front. The plane is very is less responsive, responsive, but very stable. Push the stick forward, the plane becomes less stable, but very responsive. Now let's do a backwards half loop. Go back from inverted flight to normal flight. Continue, and then do a forward loop. So con uh, full forward loop. Once we get on the top, we pull the stick and have the plane fly fly for fly straight. You can see the joystick changes the angle of attack of both the wing and stabilizer. And uh, combined with the center of gravity, you can do quite a lot of range, a big range of uh, maneuvers in two dimension. If you click anywhere on the chart, you stop the ball. You pause it actually. Um, you can zoom out, see the whole trajectory, you can zoom in, see less of it, you can uh, increase or decrease the pitch of the, the grid. Uh, the trail decimation here, you can make the trail longer, there's only a thousand, one thousand points in the trail. So, you can have a short but very high resolution trail by putting a low decimation like one, or you can have a very long tra uh, trail with the high decimation like 10. So now you can see the whole trail. You can you can see much more historical data if you put a high decimation. Let's start it again and uh, zoom in. Move the other way. Not too much. Let's say that much. Lower the pitch and let's get some airspeed as the plane goes down. You see the airspeed here in red. Going up 22, 23, 24, 25 meters a second. We got to 30 meters a second. Let's pull it out of the dive. Go up. Zoom in. Let's reduce the tra trail estimation to see more a high resolution trail. So now we're floating nicely. Get some speed. Do a forward loop. And bring the stick in the middle. A bit higher. And keep it on flight, inverted flight. That's it.
you can download this for free at excelunusual.com is the site there's a 150 examples most of them have a tutorial uh, attached and also a dynamic model most of my models have animation explains how to do it you won't find anywhere else come over and visit the site you can leave a comment comment if you like or you would like something to do that um, you have some suggestions i can do it for you uh, if i have time of course thank you for your attention